and welcome. My name's Luke from Channel Game for Buzz, and welcome back to Factions. We're on episode 51 right now, and uh, yeah, if you missed episode 50, that'll be down in the description. Go check that out. We did a lot of work in the Never, and actually got us four blaze spawners, which is insane as well with the skeleton skull. But I weren't really aiming for that. Anyway, this episode is going to be a bit different from the normal PvP and raiding. As you can see, we do have. I managed to dig out prop form and unbreaking three of everything out of my armor chest, which is uh, in there. And we do have the necessary stuff to PvP, like we've got gapples, we've got pots, but that's not because we're actually aiming to PvP. No, right now we are actually doing some work outside Warzone, so we could get a few people coming across trying to kill us or whatever, or we don't want people messing with us anyway, so we are going to be killing anyone we see. So I'm ready for that if need be. So we're at spawn now, but we actually need to walk to Wild, which is where the build is. And straight away, if I do, if I do slash F map, then you will see that is my claim land right there, and then that's Allied claim land around it. And there is a bit of chunk missing out of Warzone. That's why I'm taking advantage of it. It's Warzone, so no one can raid me from that side, that side. But I don't even care if I'm raided. I'm not going to hold any stuff there. Um, it's kind of weird to explain, but I guess we'll just get right to it. I think it's this direction. So I'll we'll head on down there and actually I'll be able to show you what I mean. Um, I have got started on it, as you can see right there. Boom, gaming for buds. All in stone bricks, but that is nowhere near finished because what is actually going to be... I'll show you the finished product on a single player world because I've already done it. Um, I've done all the claim land and everything, but you can see I'm actually in my land, but I can't destroy this area. You also can't TNT this area. So this whole area stretching all the way down that way and actually carries this way for a really, really long time. Look, like, you can see it's all broken on this side. It is kind of hard to explain, but basically I have big plans that involves actually the protection. So I can actually make stuff like unraidable basically, but I'm not going to put chests there because I believe this is abusing like the admins, like, I don't know, not really like mistake. But just the way the walls only set out, it's kind of abusing it. So if I did make a base here, I could basically place a chest here, right? Because it's actually protected here, so I can't build or anything. But also, explosive protection goes out about five blocks into where I actually have claim. So actually, I could place a chest here and just put my best stuff in it. And it would not get raided because even if I made a TNT can, even a TNT landed right on it, it wouldn't explode, well it would explode still, but it just wouldn't do anything to the surrounding area at all. So actually, I could actually be unraidable just by making a base here, but I don't want to do that because I'm happy with the base I've already, and I don't want to really abuse it, so just so I could keep all my stuff, because that's not really not fair. Instead, I'm going to abuse it to actually make a bit of artwork, and uh, you can see I've got the outline on Obsidian. A lot of people have been asking me about it, like what am I doing, I'm like, I haven't told them too much, but... Basically, this is going to be ladders going up to an area where there'll be kind of a museum. More like a head museum, and there'll be a lot of signs like explaining stuff and why they built this and stuff. And it's really complicated to explain. I'm actually going to head over to a single player world right now to actually see if I can explain it a bit better there. Because I've got everything set out already because I did that in creative mode. So, let's get right onto it. Here we are in the single player world. And uh, yeah, this is, this is how I design my base actually. Like... This will be, I don't know what I'll put in there, that'll be like good stuff, that'll be like, I don't know, just a lot of random stuff I decide how to set it out. But anyways, enough of that, that's not really it. And there's all sorts of contraptions on this world, but basically, this is why we were just on in the faction server. And this is the finished product, you can see it, looking nice. And I will explain like all the details and stuff, and it just says YouTube, so people see that come over and see that's my YouTube. And basically just ignore all this, but the way I've set it out, these big pillars mark claimed land. Warzone, as you saw, like went in far over the corner. So Warzone, it's all Warzone that way, it's all Warzone that way. And this is my claim chunk. The green bit is my claim chunk, so I've got four claimed pieces of land right here in the middle. And then my allies are the blue. And uh, the yellow, if you're wondering, was actually because a different person did claim it, so I couldn't claim it. But um, I made a deal with him, so he unclaimed it, and my ally actually does have that now, so I could actually change that to blue just to signal that, but we know that right now. And I've basically got a load of contraptions going on. And well, let me just explain this first. So this isn't claimed by Warzone, but the yellow means that no one can build on it. You can't play, you can claim it, but you can't place or build or even shoot TNT onto it. You can't do anything with this piece of land, it will always stay like that. So. If we actually see, it actually does go into my claim piece of land up to here. So no one can break anything on this line. 
But I have blocks placed here, so that is absolutely perfect. No one can destroy my sign, it'll be there forever, as long as the admin don't think, well, he's abusing stuff, even though I feel like it's not really taking advantage of it too much, because all I'm doing is putting some blocks down. I'm not really keeping anything there, like, I would be against doing that, because that would just be unfair to everyone else. But I'm going to use pistons to actually push uh, all the blocks out. I have it in stone brick so far, built on the faction server, but I'm actually going to be placing, like, sea lanterns and glowstone and then glass panes and make it push out, so let's just take out, this is the same border basically and it's going to be exactly the same as you see here. Another thing to note, my ally is actually going to build some walls just in case people want a TNT kind of in the museum here. But um, if you see by this TNT, that's actually how far, like if someone was to explode a TNT on this block, nothing would happen. But on the block next to it, then it would explode and I can't remember if it does damage this place or not, I think it does. So technically they could explode this wall right here and that would be bad for me. So. Well, let me actually show you the inside. So if I come here, there'll be a lot of signs. They'll all say the same thing. I just couldn't be bothered typing them out on single player. I will do a multiplayer. So the climate ladders here immediately it says start reading from behind, follow the signs left to right, and it says welcome all. They're meant to be all filled. But I just didn't have time. And it's going to be basically just a bunch, like kind of a story. And uh, I'll just show you the rules real quick. So this is my um, rules right here. Rules of being in here. All are welcome under certain circumstances. As long as you don't fit under the following, I will not kill you. I will kill on sight if you either are enemy to me or if you have any potion effects on, you attempt to break anything or you are ugly. So basically that gives me an excuse to kill anyone I want and if they're like, why'd you kill me? I'm like, because you're ugly. And here, that's where I'm going to keep heads because once I get heads, I'm going to put them on the wall and actually sign whose names they are so everyone can come and see who I've actually killed on the server, which I think would be pretty cool. But anyways, this, you got to ignore this for now. That's not going to be built until it's all finished. That's like extra thing I could do. Uh, I guess I'll show you it. Uh, I don't know if I want to show it because then people will be like, oh right, that's what it is, so I'm not going it. But anyway, so same PvP in, uh, was Warp Wild is somewhere like around there, same PvP in someone, and I want to get a nice easy kill. I'll run over here into my claim land where they can't hit me unless they're enemied. So if I am being followed, I come here, pull that straight away, they're still coming because it looks like you can walk around here to actually get to me, but you can't. So they'll come in, try and hit me, as soon as they're in, as soon as they're past the front line, I flip, I flip that lever and they're trapped. Basically, if I'm a bit injured, I can sit behind here, regen, then come back out and start hitting them again, and basically I'll just win every single fight. And if worse comes to worse, then I flip both levers and run back out. But anyways, it should be a really good trap. Um, I'm going to work on a load of traps, actually. But basically, this is the pool I'm going to have. I don't know. This, I wanted to do something. You saw it set out in stone on the faction server, and I'm just going to basically make this so no one can get out unless they can flip it and only I can flip it so I can get out if I want everyone else is staying there while I'm shooting with a bow until they die so that's all good and yeah basically it's kind of complicated with how the actual world protection works because you can't build until here and you can't explode stuff until here so I am needing pistons and it probably will take a lot of time to actually shoot all the letters out including the glass panes as well it's going to take such a long time but I guarantee it'll be worth it because once it's done, it will look like that. So as you can see in this chest, in a couple of episodes you actually saw me buying all this, but I've got glowstone, sea lanterns, and uh, a load of stone bricks that are in another chest. But basically this is what I'm going to use to build it. I just need glass panes, which um, I think that's going to be a real pain to actually build. That's not actually meant to be a pun. Alright, so there is actually, they don't sell flowers in shop, which is what I expected, but they do sell glass panes right here. So I could buy, ooh, they're actually expensive, one for ten. Um, I guess I'll buy a whole bunch just for now, not really sure how many I need. I think I need four stacks and 48, that's what I actually calculated it as. So let's actually get the inventory room, and we'll get four stacks and 48, and that'll be how much we actually need. There we go, four stacks, 48. So we're actually going to need a lot of yellow dye. And first thing first, I'm going to ask in chat if anyone just happens to have any that I've saved up and just collected in a chest. But um, I doubt that, but it's worth a go. And if not, we'll actually have to go exploring to actually get them ourselves. All right, so Sir Swags actually says he can help us out getting the flowers. But um, we need to actually get some wool. So I'm going to look at the shop for that. I didn't quite check. If not, then we'll have to buy a load of string. So we are actually out collecting flowers ourselves and uh, I'll let you know when we get to a decent amount so we can actually get on with the build. Okay, so like an idiot, I didn't realise you couldn't change glass panes into yellow glass panes and you can't change it back to glass or anything so basically I've got these, don't need them. But I have a whole bunch of glass and a whole bunch of dye. Uh, so Swag's helped me get the dye, I'm actually going to keep it in 10 flowers. Actually no, I'll just turn it on to dye. I'm not going to use it all 
There's actually not that much I need. I need four stacks, uh, four and three quarter stacks. I don't. Oh yeah, that's why I don't have the crafting table because um, yeah, I've got slash craft. So we're actually going to turn these into um, glass panes. Well, yellow glass stained glass. Um, how much does a stack get us? All right, so one stack of glass and die gets us two and a half stacks of glass panes. I guess we only need to do this twice then, because, wow, we actually didn't need as much as I thought we did. Okay. Yep, yeah, look, we've got enough already, and we've still got all this glass and dye. I guess we'll just leave it here, just in case, I don't know, we make a mistake, we need some more. Right, now I'm teleporting to the potion place, so I teleport us to which is shared by a bunch of people. And, yep, so is there. I'm always scared, like, if I come here, and there's, like, someone who actually doesn't know who I am, then they come, and I'm just going to put the glass back, because I did borrow it off them. Okay, so that's glass panes, and uh, right now I'm just sorting it out into 90 stacks because that's how many furnaces I actually have. So, this should be a good amount. So, off into the furnaces these go, and I just want to actually, actually, I do need some more glowstone because I spent a lot of the glowstone that I set aside for building. I spent a lot of it on the base, like as you can see to the top left there, and uh, a whole bunch of other places I've used the glowstone. So, I do need to get some more from the shop, and after that, I should be set, and I could carry on. Um, I guess we'll just get the sign finished first. I don't know. I might want my ally to actually make the walls first, just in case someone tries to tune it in as well. It's in the process of being built. So I probably won't get it all done all at once, because I'm going out in just a couple hours. So I don't know how much of it I will get done, but it'll definitely all be in the same video. I might even have to split it up into two separate videos, but um, we'll see what happens. So we got about another stack of glowstone, which is pretty good. Uh, ripped the bank account a bit, but um, so we've got the glowstone, we've got the lanterns, and we've got the glass panes. We do need a lot of stone bricks, so I guess I have to wait for this to all smelt, and uh, I guess I'll just skip that. Alright, so it looks like they're all just about finished, so let's just collect them all up. And uh, we can get on, I don't know if this will be enough, but this is all the cobblestone I had on me. I'll probably buy the rest from shop because um, I still have quite a good bit of money. But um, other than that, I'm actually just going to head around there now. Let me just check if I have got everything. Um, yeah, I think I've got the resources and stuff. I do need pistons, but uh, I'm going to plan everything out before I actually get on with pistoning it out into the, you know, the protected zone. Alright, so we're actually on top of the lettering right now, and uh, we can actually place here, but we can't place ahead. We are wanted to push it twice, so this is going to be stone brick. The whole, like, the whole, like, next to the obsidian is going to be stone brick, and then on top of it is going to be glowstone, then sea lanterns, and then glass panes around the glowstone. So, I have spelt it out in the stone brick, so I know where to place the glowstone, so I guess that's the first thing we have to do. So um, I'm actually going to turn it into sort of a time lapse. I'll keep skipping in between talking about what I'm doing and actually getting on with it. So please enjoy, and without further ado, let's fill all the glowstone in. Alright, so I think I've pretty much covered the whole glowstone section of the build. So let's just carefully get down without taking too much damage and look at it from afar. And um, did I get everything? Let's take a bit more of a step back. And yep, yeah, looks like every single block has a piece of glowstone on. Uh, next step, I think I'll, I'll do the glass panes next. That's what I think I'll do. So glass panes around the glowstone and then sea lanterns in front of the glowstone. And hopefully it should look as nice as it does on a single player. It should do because it's exactly the same. But anyways, let's actually get on to it. Okay, heading back out to the build. It's actually a week later. I weren't able to get on at all. I've been really busy this week. But um, there is some damage. I'm guessing that's with Cooper X. And there is something I need to show you. Like explain with the TNT and the way it doesn't explode in certain areas because of the protection. That's meant to protect Warzone. But it protects out for a little bit as well. 
Um, I guess I could explain it now. I just need to go get some. Well, I've got TNT on me, but I'm actually gonna get rest on torch and all that stuff, and actually get back to when I can actually show you what I mean with the TNT protection. Um, I don't know if it works with creepers or it's just it doesn't work um, to a certain height. So I'm just gonna go get some stuff real quick, and I'll be back in one second. All right, so I've got the supplies, and uh, I guess I could just move shovel off the hotbar for a second. I've still only got eight TNT. I forgot to get more TNT, but um, you can't place here even though it's my claim land. Warzone is here. To a well wilderness, but basically you can't place anyway, so there's no point claiming it. Even if the worst enemies claimed it, they couldn't do anything anyway. So this is actually my claim chunk, but you still can't place. And um, so you can't place up until here. So you can place here, but um, it's got TNT protection. So if I try and explode that, it doesn't work. And that goes out for think three more blocks. So on um, actually put a casing around like that, just so it doesn't like slip onto the other block. Um, I think it is this block, like it wouldn't explode or it might be one back which is even better. So let's actually see. So it doesn't explode there. Um, let's see if it explodes a bit back. Um, I guess we'll just do that and then destroy one here. And hopefully it doesn't break if I'm right. Actually I don't know if it was five away from my claim chunk or five, yeah I think it was five away from here. So one, two, three, four and Let's actually check two back, and if not, then we know to check one forward again. So this is just a quick test, just to show you what I mean by TNT protection. Um, is it that block? I can't quite remember because I didn't mark it out. Okay, it wasn't there, and I can't remember where I actually built out to. So this is going to be awkward. Maybe is it here? I think, yeah, that's on the six, so that should explode, or doesn't explode. What? So, from where I can build, it's one, two, three, four, five back. But six back is where it does explode. Yeah, that's what I marked on my single player wall, so that's right. So basically, TNT will not explode all the way along this line, So, but it does explode up there. Now, I'm going to check if this is just creep eggs or TNT. So, I'm actually going to get this TNT. I'm going to get up there, and if it does explode, I, I will be damaging my own artwork if it does. Oh god, I fell down a hole. So if it does actually damage it, then I'm damaging my own artwork, but anyway, we could just fix it, and probably, meh. I'm pretty sure it won't explode after we push it out some more. I'll explain what I mean once I get up there. Oh, and I just completely missed. So let's actually head up there, hit the end, and onto here. So basically, what I was saying is, it shouldn't exp like, this is a test, like, you can't even place here, but you can place here, and does this explode? I need to slash eat, not eat it, eat. So hopefully, that did destroy stuff. Right. Right, so I've got more TNT, and I want to check, like, I know it doesn't explode here. I just want to check how, like, high it can be without exploding still. So, let's actually check our Y value, which is 72. So, check if it works at 72 and it won't explode anything. Nope, doesn't explode anything at 72. We'll go up three more. One, two, three. And place one here, so we should be on 75. Yep, we're on 75. Rest on torch here. Let's see if it explodes anything. It does. Alright, so we're going to check on 74. Because 74 could be the number that we need. So, yeah, we're on 74 already. Please don't explode. And I'll just have to make the sign much lower, but uh, should be okay. So, it does explode at 74. Right. 73. If it explodes here, then we have to build way low. Right. So, it doesn't explode at y value 73 so that means I can place whatever I want all along this line like here and let's actually just check if it is all the way out to here as well let's just use some stone so let's actually get to 70 what were it one one lot no I can build on here so here it can basically go out five blocks this is the fifth block and it should not explode because of it's still quite low it's at 73 so if I'm right here, I might have to actually need to destroy that. Yeah, it doesn't explode. So I can build. Hmm. I'll be right back. Let me just build something to explain it better. Alright, first I just gotta check if it acts as a like if it's just not this level that's protected. And I wanna check if it goes all the way down to bedrock to actually protect it. Let's actually build quite far down. Place in TT like here. 
then just dig out a little bit and explode it. Hopefully should, there shouldn't be a crater. If so, then we're good. There was. Alright, so we've got to find the Y value that it actually can blow up. Um, the lowest Y value it can blow up. Alright. So we're getting there. We're learning the way that it's actually working. Um, let's just try this low. And we'll just gradually keep going until we actually get it right. Right, so it doesn't explode there. Let me just check one lower, because it did explode one lower than this right now. But let's just get the torch just in case it does explode. Let's check there. Nope. So this is the lowest it can actually be at. Let's just explode this. Oh, I don't know why I placed two. Let's get rid of the other one. And yeah, that does explode. So it is actually on this level. Hmm. That's that's interesting. So I'm actually going to mark it all out and then explain to you why I've marked it and I'll just skip right to then.